how to create a grid in Affinity Photo. Something like the design on the screen. Go to the View menu and Show Grid. Use the Grid and Access Manager to manipulate the grid if you wish. Go to the Tools panel and select the Rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle 100 by 100. Position 200 by 400. To make it easier, go to the View menu and Studio and Transform. The Layers panel is also useful. You can see the settings for the rectangle in the Transform panel. Go to the Layer menu and Duplicate. With the duplicate selected, go back to the Transform panel. Go to the X field and set to 320. The rectangle is 100 by 100. I want a gap of 20, so 320. A really useful feature of Affinity Photo is the Power Duplicate. Control J or Command J combines the duplication and the transform that was last used. Repeat the Command J five or six times to generate a number of paths. All the paths will be the same with a 20 pixel gap. Go to the Layers panel and select all of the paths. To merge them all together, go to the Layer menu, Geometry and Merge Curves. They are now all merged into a single shape. To duplicate that row, go to the Layer menu and Duplicate. Go to the Transform panel and then go to the Y field. I want a gap of 20 pixels between each row. Change the 400 into 520. So you've got the 100 pixels as well as the 20 pixels gap. Again, Command J or Control J to power duplicate that row. Repeat that a number of times. You now have a very basic grid of rectangles. Go to the Layers panel and select all of the layers. Go to the Layers menu, Geometry and Merge Curves. It is now a single layer. Go to the Tools panel and select the Rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle above the existing shape. Set a gap of 20 pixels all the way around. To make it easier, I use Snapping. So go to the View menu and Snapping Manager. Set Enable Snapping to On. Set Snap to Grid to On. Click Close. Go to the Layers panel and drag the rectangle below the grid. Change the fill colour of the rectangle to make it easier to see. Go to the Layers panel and select both of the layers. The grid needs to be subtracted from the rectangle. Go to the Layers menu and Geometry and Subtract. With the grid selected, you can now go and change the colour of the grid. Change the fill colour as well as change the stroke. You can also apply layer effects to the shape. Go to the Layers menu and the FX at the bottom. You can also apply filters to the grid. You can also duplicate the grid. Apply transformations to the grid. Use it with live filter layers and adjustments. And much, much more. I hope you found this tutorial of interest. I'm always adding new tutorials about Affinity Photo as well as Affinity Designer and other applications. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Please also add a comment or two as well as a dislike or like. Thank you very much.